Okay. I'm on. I'm here. Happy Friday. Um, who else is here? Anyone jumping on today? Today is a fun, hold on, sorry, I'm not totally ready. <laughs> um, today is a super special live because we have a fun spin the wheel um, for you today. So while we are, ooh, and this is real bright. Hold on one second. Let me um, tone myself down. There we go. Okay. All right. You guys coming on? I don't see anyone yet. I see Instagram, I think. Facebook, are you here? Okay. Oh, here they all come. Hi, Jane. Latanya from Florida. Hi, Nikki from Wisconsin. Lauren from Pennsylvania. Uh, Gina's here. Good morning from Colorado Springs, Heather. Ooh, Grace Mitchell is on from Alaska. Oh, I didn't even put your... Uh, just, just bear with me one second here. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Okay, so what you see behind me, I know it's a little bit hard to read, and I think, is it probably going to be backwards too? Let me show you what we're going, what we got up our sleeves today. So while on, um, oh man, that is, okay, we, we will find if, if and when we do this again, we will get, um, we will get a little bit better way to do this. But while on quarantine, or again, just following with being, um, following in line with being a happy distraction, we have added a fun um, happy distraction plan to uh, the live today. So we are doing Grace and Lace trivia and um, as part of our live. So we've got the girls, we're still gonna do like the try-on session in the back. I'm still gonna talk about products like I normally talk about products, but the wheel, the Vanna, what is this, the Vanna White wheel? This thing is gonna come in between each um, product and we're gonna ask a trivia question. You're gonna have, you all, Facebook and Instagram have a chance to win. So we're gonna do Facebook questions and then we're gonna go to Instagram to answer. So you both equally have a chance. Basically, the first, is it the first person, Morgan? Yes, the first person. Morgan's helping me. She came up with this whole thing. The whole marketing team came up with this and I'm just like, I'm just the Vanna White. So um, the first person to answer it right in the comments, um, will win the prize, I'll, I'll spin for that person, they'll win the prize for that person, and then we, our staff members who are on the live with you right now, will um, comment to the person that they got the answer right and that they won, and then we will be DMing them the instructions for whatever prize they win on here. So, this is really hard to see and it's backwards. So, next time, and if and when we do this, we will print it and um, flip the print so you guys can actually read it. But basically, here's here are your options um, if you are chosen. If you get the if you get the trivia question right, right, and you're the first one to get it right, and we're able to we're, you, we let you know, like, hey, Jill, you got that right. Um, your spin is up. You have the chance to win. Okay, on your next purchase, Morgan's gonna correct me if I'm wrong. Um, free shipping is an option, and you get an option to ask me anything. So you can ask me anything, and I'll answer your question live. Um, you might have a try again. Let's try again. You get one item of your choice. Is this free? One item yes, of one free. Item. One free item of your choice. That's a big one. Um, Ten dollars off your next purchase. Everyone gets ten percent off. Okay. Coffee on us. Okay. A fifty dollar. Ooh, you guys, who approved these? <laughs> Fifty dollar gift card. Someone's gonna get. There's another try again. Um, one. I wait. Am I back around? Uh, there's an. Oh, there's two try agains. And there's two items of your choice. Matt did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Matt, you might be fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. There's two items of your choice. Um, you get a twenty-five dollar chance for a twenty-five dollar gift card. Um, and then 15% off, or I think that's where I started, 15% off, okay. Holy crap, <laughs> I hope you guys are ready to answer some questions. So um, please bear with us. We have 
we, we have amazing things launching today, which is our main focus. This is just an added bonus, but if we mess this up a little bit in the process, please forgive us because this is our first time doing it. But um, if you guys love it, maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll do it again, but maybe not, uh, we'll see. Okay, all right, so let's, uh, do, I get, do I start spinning first? You're going to ask Facebook their first question, and then we'll do Instagram. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about a product first. We're just going to spin the wheel first. Are you guys okay with that? We'll do one spin the wheel, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to do one spin the wheel, and then we're going to talk about the first item, which is the, the tiger tee that I have on. So let's spin the wheel. We'll do... Okay, how do old, Linda says, how do old people get a head start? <laughs> Sean Marie says, I'm so excited. Get your typing fingers ready, you guys. I'm a little bit nervous how this is going to go. So Facebook goes first. Okay, Facebook is first. Instagram, Instagram, you will be next. So, you ready for your first question? Are your typing fingers ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, Kara says, I've been studying. <laughs> okay. The first question is, what year was Grace and Lace on Shark Tank? What year did we air on Shark Tank? Ready, go. I feel like we need the dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Music going to let you guys answer. So Instagram, hold on. Facebook, this question is for you. And I got Lauren Linder. Lauren Linder is the winner. Right? Oh, wait. No, wait. Hold on. I might have done this wrong. Lauren Linder's not the winner. She okay. answered first, but was wrong. Oh. <laughs> right? Yes, no, you're right. You're Tracy, right. Tracy Stevenson. Stevenson. Okay, yes. sorry, Lauren. Sorry. You are the first to answer, but you're wrong. Tracy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a little bit of a bump. So Tracy Stevenson is the winner. So Tracy, are you there? I'm gonna spin, now I get to spin the wheel for her, right? Yes. Okay, so Tracy, I'm spinning the wheel for you, okay? So, here we go. Well, that looks kinda cool. Okay, Tracy won a $25 gift card. Woohoo! okay? Spin to win, Tracy won. Morgan is now. taking down all your info, and you will get a DM Make sure you're, you check your, like, I know Facebook sends them to, like, whatever category sometimes, so make sure you check your, like, pending messages or something like that, okay? Okay. Instagram. Instagram. You there, Instagram? Okay, Instagram gets a, I'm going to have a hard time seeing Instagram, so Morgan's going to have to see. Instagram's question is next. You're watching on Instagram. This question is for you. Instagram, what show did my husband Rick participate in and on last year? I can't see their answers. I got you. Okay, Morgan's looking. What show was Rick on? What TV show was Rick on last year? Instagram is answering. Hannah Cakes 22. Hannah Cakes 22, got it. Hannah Cakes 22, I see you. Um, I'm going to spin for you, and then you guys, right after this spin, we will go to talk about products, and then in between each product, we will do some more spins. So, okay, Hannah Cakes 22, this one's for you. Try again. Does that mean I get to spin again? First? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try again. You get another spin. Here you go. me anything. Hannah Cakes 22 on Instagram. Can you type in your ask me anything and I'll answer it. I'll keep track of it. You can keep going. Okay. So she's going to keep track of Hannah's um, question and then I'll answer it. So the answer, you guys are saying, what's the answer? Sorry. I will make sure I tell the answer. Um, Rick was on American Ninja Warrior last year. So a lot of you are answering that on Facebook right now when Hannah got that one first. He was on the show American Ninja Warrior. And um, that one is, how do you tell, I just told everyone the answer. Um, what are the answers to the winning questions? Okay. All right, I'll make sure I tell that right away after we pick the winner. Okay, all right, let's move on to talk about some products while we're waiting for Hannah Cakes 22 to ask me the question. 
substitute type. What is your favorite part of your job? Ooh, okay. Hannah asked me what is my the favorite part of my job. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Ash just said her. Um, but actually, I think actually that has to do with it. I really feel like the favorite part of what I do is working with the team that I have. When I started this business, I started it by myself, and actually that's why I call it my accidental company, but it was never fun to do by myself. It was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of, um, I just didn't have anyone to celebrate the successes and go through the bumps in the roads with and um, to learn and grow this company with. And so I really think probably my favorite job is working with all these people behind me um, and working together and working on a product together and creating you know, creating an idea of a garment from a conception to seeing that, you know, garment f actually made and fulfilled and tangible in your hand and that whole process of the creative thinking as a team, working together as a team, achieving goals as a team. Um, I, I learned very quickly that I would hate what I do if I had to do it by myself. So um, I think my favorite thing is working with these amazing people and doing this all together. I wouldn't like it by myself. So, okay, great question. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about, first up is the tiger tea. So I don't know, I feel like I'm supposed to say something like, hey, all you cute cats and kittens or something like that, but I'm not Carol Baskin. And you guys, I just need a disclaimer because I feel like I need some credit for this. I designed this tea long before Tiger King <laughs> even existed. So I'm not promoting Tiger King. I watched an episode and I learned very quickly I don't need to watch any more episodes. So um, anyway, tigers are a thing. Apparently Tiger King even made tigers even more of a thing. But tigers were very cute and um, I loved them on a tee long before Tiger King came along. Tiger King came along. Came along. So um, this one out of all our, and swipe your comments if you can't see me you guys, but this one out of all our graphic tees is the most complex detailed design that we've done. Um, Lindsay nailed, like, she worked so hard on this, you guys. Let me get it up for you really close. Okay, so what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring in kind of that fierce, and I'm going to turn this light down a little bit because I think it'll be easier to see. We wanted to bring in and meet the trend of kind of that whole, like, fierce, but fabulous and feminine all at the same time. So there are tiger tees on the market. A tiger tee is a thing, but... Um, I didn't love how kind of, you know, they can feel very in your face fierce. And I wanted something that could pair easily with jeans or with cutoff shorts, um, and just be like, meet that graphic T trend without being like, <laughs> okay. So this is, what did we name this guy? Did we name, name him? He's, he's the sweetest tiger, you guys. Okay. Very, very sweet. I forgot we named him. I named him Rand. Randall I think Randall um, okay but here's what we did so we kept we he's in here he's got um, mint eyes and we just bring that the blue in from kind of the other colors in here you guys know when I design um, tees I like to bring in color because we like to wear them with like Cardi's or I like to have a pop of color in my um, graphic tees so we made Randall walking through flowers because I just felt that really kind of brought in more of that fem feminine feel and allowed us to, to bring more colors into the tea. So we have wines and purples and pop of greens, yellows, and then we just had him kick up some fun little, um, what, are we, what are these things? Like the little wispy things, uh, dandelions. dandelions that kind of just blow in the wind, just for some little depth behind him. I'm sorry, you guys, but this is the cutest tiger tee I have ever seen. I'm just gonna put it out there, okay? We really, really wanted to make one that met that like trend of the animal on the tee, but, but really came cute, so, okay. So you get that softness, the kind of the feminine feel by bringing in all these florals, and then we have a big old brave, brave at the bottom, so. Um, really, really fits the trend. Like I said, oh, and then I was supposed to wear, hold on. <laughs> I was supposed to have this on over it. So we do these things on purpose, you guys. We make them all kind of work. Um, if you are in areas that are still kind of chilly and you want another layer, of course, 
by having kind of pops in here, you can easily pull in one of our striped cardies or a cardie that you already have or a bamboo. Um, you know we do this on purpose, okay? The colors that we choose end up working with everything. So if you have a gray one, if you have a must, if you have the yellow mustard one, all of that, this is the wine color, um, really make this tea layerable. Okay, let's talk about sizing the number and bringing the girls out, okay? Um, Cheryl says, I showed my hubby the tiger last night and he thought he was adorable. He is adorable. I just think he's, he's, Randall's really cute. We like Randall. Um, okay, and he's not, the orange is not like an in your face, like, like a rusty tiger orange. It's a very, like a warm, warm orange. He's really pretty. Um, okay, so the fit, and then I'm bringing the girls out. Now, this is our most, I'm gonna stand on my tippy toes, need a box. This is our, probably our most, um, out of our perfect pocket tea line. Okay, perfect v-neck tees, crew neck tees, um, perfect pocket. This is our most slim fitting design for a couple of reasons, okay? One, so if it's mostly like the crew neck, it is a crew neck tee, but it does fit slimmer and here's why. We, I didn't want when um, this is gathered to knot or to tuck because I didn't want a really collapsing Randall, okay? <laughs> I didn't want, we wanna show him off. So we did slim out, this is the size small, we did slim out the sweep a little bit for that reason, okay? Um, the arms, like the whole body just feels a little bit more fitted it's really not much different from the crew neck tee. It's most similar to the crew neck tee, but okay, it is more slim in the in the waistline. The um, the arms are a little bit looser. The arm opening is a little bit looser. It's our it's our it is our charcoal perfect pocket tee material, um, and then it is it's really just from here from about here down that we slimmed out just a little bit, but it's still flowy, okay? This is size small, and it's a little bit short, a little bit shorter because I didn't want, again, we didn't want to have to wad, really wad up and crinkle up a ton of material to, we want to, we want to keep showing him off when we knot or we tuck. But it, the other thing that affects this design, okay? Because the graphic, and it is scaled for sizing, okay? So it, it sizes up as you get bigger and bigger sizes, so it remains about this size on all sizes. Um, because there's so much ink on this, this does affect the stretch of the material, okay? Perfect pocket tees that don't have any print covering them like this, obviously you're, you know, the real stretchy part, but when, when you have a, a big graphic taking up space, it does reduce the stretch a little bit. So for that reason, it, it's going to feel tighter on your body. So if you're busty, you might want to consider sizing up, other, or if you just know, you know what, I like a, a little bit more fitted design, I want it to be more fitted, then stay in your normal size. So this is size small on me. I can also wear the size medium. I cannot wear the extra small. So I stayed with my crew neck T size, which is a size small for me. I wear the small on that one. I like the small on this one. I like that I don't have to, you know, really gather a ton to knot this. So I'd stay in your normal size. If you're busty, oh guys, I know you have questions. Okay, Ash is gonna come out. You're gonna see it on her, okay? Um, I, I like that it's a, a slimmer fitting design on me because I want to show the tiger off, okay? So, but if you do want more room or do want more oversized, you might want to size up in this. Let's bring the girls up. Ash went to medium. Uh, Who else is in this one? No. What? I, I, I'm not feeling it. What? What? Katie. Ash is not doing this? I have a special guest. <gasps> oh, oh, look at yeah. her. Hey, six feet apart. Oh yeah. Don't touch her. <laughs> <laughs> they were best friends like their whole life. This one, Katie's here, you guys. I know you guys missed her. So she's popping in just for the just just for the try-on session today, just so you guys can see her. I know you guys every time I'm gonna ask you what does Katie wear? Now we have Katie here to tell us what Katie wears. Yeah, okay. So list all the things we're gonna try on today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now's time. your chance. <laughs> if you need Katie sizing, Katie is here to know Katie sizing. Oh yay, you're getting lots of hearts. Okay. Katie is in what? The I don't small. even know these. Katie's in the small. Yeah. Okay. She can wear extra small too, but it's because she's busty, it's gonna be more fitted in her bust. So that's just a personal preference. If you want a more fitted design. Um, and your bestie stay in your normal size, or you, oh my gosh, they're like, hi, Katie, hi. <laughs> I'm um, happy to be out of the house. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so that's a, a her. So, wait, Ash, are you not in this I one? I am in it. Oh, Ash is in it. <laughs> Ash is in the medium. It's a medium. Okay, so layered is cute. She's got it with tinsel cargo. Okay, take your jacket off so they can see this. Medium on her. 
Hi, Katie. Nice to see Katie. Okay, okay. medium on ash so you can see. So um, we did the sleeve is the sleeve opening is looser than what the crew what the crew neck is. Okay, all right. So that is one change, but the the waist line the hemline is more fitted. Okay, all right. Um, then who who else? Do I have any more surprises back there? <laughs> Amanda. Amanda's Amanda's in extra large, right? You choose to do yes. extra large. Okay, so she can this is extra large on her so obviously it is more fitted throughout the bust because that the tiger scaling but here you can see how we scaled that tiger design to grow with the sizes just so it takes up, up that same amount of space so she likes it fitted if she did want more room if she did want more oversized she would size up to the extra 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 large, extra extra large <laughs> okay um okay so that's just personal preference. I would suggest staying in your normal size if you're not busty. I think a lot of you, a lot of the, you, a lot of the people who are like, I have a lot of material at the bottom when I knot it, those people will like this design because it's still flowy, but it's not as flowy. So you still cannot, um, you still cannot knot it and tuck it in your in your normal size. I would say most of the concern is really if you're um, busty. Okay. Okay, what size does Amanda usually wear? Amanda wears extra large in the v-necks and in the crew neck, right? Yeah. V-neck and the crew neck, she wears a large in the perfect pocket tee. Okay, so and Amanda is 5'9". How tall is Amanda? 5'8 and a half. Or 5'8 five, five and a half. <laughs> I know you said they're more fitted, but are you going shorter? No, so this one, we aren't going shorter with our tees. The, in general. This one is a tad shorter. Again, it has to do with the amount of gathering material. We found in the fit when it's longer, you have to gather more in order to knot and tuck it. And that's what was really, really caving in the design. So people who wanted to gather and knot it, you actually couldn't even see the tiger because he was all gathered in the material to knot. So th this, is a, this is just a specific, this is just what we did just with this tiger tee specific to the tiger t design we tried everything you guys we tried to bring him up higher we tried to reduce his size and we just liked we liked him he was just so cute just this is like the perfect size for him okay so no we're not going shorter this is just the design this is the design we created specifically for this tiger t specific to the design so that's why this isn't in the crew neck listing because it is different it is it, this fit is a little bit different for those reasons okay Okay, um, would Michelle, yes, Michelle H would wear the extra, extra large, okay? Okay, all right, I know sizes are selling out, you guys, I am so sorry. I did hop on, I did hop on our, our um, VIP Facebook page last night um, and tried to give them their a heads up on the sizing. So here's what happens, you guys, had I known that this tea was gonna be as loved as it's gonna be had I known that Tiger King was gonna be a thing and kind of ramp up the whole, put some more fuel in the fire with um, animal the animal trend, um, we would I would have made thousands more than this, okay? I needed to make at least five or 6,000 of this tea, okay? Um, unfortunately, I have to make those decisions months and months and months and months and months ago when we had None of that. I had no idea. You guys, I would. I was worried you guys wouldn't like tigers and that you guys would think this is too bold. So please, um, we'll get a restock notify up on the listing. Zach, if you're watching this, or Nicole, can you guys put one of those up? Um, I apologize. It's a, it is a guessing. This this is a guessing game. Like popularity of products is a guessing game. But after um, after the whole Tiger King, Carol Baskin, all this stuff. Um, I knew it would go quickly, so I apologize for it. There's nothing we can do, but I but I can try to make more, okay? All right, so be a VIP. You get inside access, and sometimes I try to do what I can to help out on sizing in advance for that reason, okay? Um, all right, let's move. Oh, can I spin? I get to spin yes. again? Do I get to spin again? One I get to spin, spin again. Facebook and Instagram. Okay, Facebook gets a spin. One spin? Yes. Okay, Facebook first card pull the wheel in again you guys we'll make this we'll make this legible for you in the reverse online okay um okay i asked the question first 
Yes. I asked the question first. Okay. The question is, Facebook, are you ready? Instagram, you'll be, you'll be next. Facebook, are you ready for the question? The first one that we catch answers it correctly will be the winner, and they get to spin the wheel. Okay. The, the question for Facebook is, what other Shark Tank business did we swap with for a day in a follow-up episode? Dun, 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 dun. What other Shark Tank business did Grace and Lay swap with for a day? We got to do their business. They got to do our business in a Shark Tank follow-up episode. Christy Workman. Christy got it right. Pipcorn is the answer. Woohoo! Christy Workman got it right. We swapped with Pipcorn. This was so fun, you guys. It was a great follow-up episode. Basically, all of Barb's um, top companies got to swap places and run a business for the day. So we flew to New York and we learned how to make popcorn. <laughs> we tried to learn how to run a popcorn business. And basically through that whole experience, I learned that I'm glad I'm not in the food industry <laughs> and that I make clothing. Um, and then Jen from Pipcorn got to run Grace and Lace. Um, Jeff and Jen got to run Grace and Lace for a day. And she was like, okay, take me back. Take me back to my popcorn business. Um, so Pipcorn, the popcorn company called Pipcorn Pit Snacks, we switched with them for the day. So Christy, your spin. Christy Workman, here we go. All right, try again. You get another chance. It was about to go to that $50 gift card. Hold on. You did not land on this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, free shipping. You get free shipping on your next order, Christy. Okay. Thanks for playing. Instagram, I've got one question for you, and then we'll move on to the next product. Instagram. Are you guys there? Okay. Instagram. Um, this one's a little bit tougher, okay? Might take several guesses for people to get. What is the fastest that we have ever sold out of an item? Instagram. This one will take some guesses. Facebook, I guess you guys can guess too, but. Instagram. What is the fastest we have ever sold out of a product? I wonder if I can give them clues. Facebook is giving their answers. I can't see Instagram's answers, so. Okay, they're saying 15 minutes before the launch. Okay, be more specific. Um, be more specific, Instagram. I'm going to say that it. we're looking for an answer that is in seconds. Ooh, I can see Facebook's answers, but okay. Dun, 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 dun. So what is the fastest that something has launched, gone live on the site, and the fastest it is sold out? It's in seconds. I think some people are saying there's some delay for them. Okay. What was the item? Oh, good question. I don't have that, but we will. It's on the Facebook VIP. Oh. Oh. This is a good one. It was the actual thing that sold out the fastest was the VIP experience tickets. That has to be Sax postponed. S. Bethany. Sax Bethany. Okay. Sax Bethany got it. Okay. It is 15 seconds. It was 15 seconds. Okay. All right. So Sax Bethany. Sax Bethany, you said? Sax Bethany. Sax Bethany, Sax. this spin is for you. And then we'll move on to the next product. Coffee, you get coffee and us. Okay, she gets co uh, she's on Instagram, coffee and us. All right, let's move on. Wheel is going away, girls are coming out. Or, well, I'm gonna be talking about the vintage floral duster. This one, um, you guys, I have been so excited about. I'm actually surprised we haven't like leaked this or sneaked this anywhere because we've been working on this one for a long time. Amanda 
absolutely killed it with this placement print design. So these, this is called a placement print where you're, you print per, like it lands the same on each piece of fabric. So it's not like an Oliver print that we just print the, you know, floral and where it falls, it falls. Like this is an actual placement print garment. So we don't do much of this because it's a lot harder to do. It takes a lot more fabric yield, but Amanda worked, Amanda killed this design. Okay. So kind of with our duster trend, uh, not even a duster trend. I love, this is the way that I like to dress up for spring and summer stuff. Like if I'm going anywhere, like out to meet the girls or to an event or birthday party or whatever. Um, I love to throw a kimono on because I feel like it's a really way to like instantly enhance an outfit, but you can have a tee and shorts underneath and um, it's just like you, you instantly have an upgraded outfit by just putting on a really pretty flowy kimono. So um, it's duster length, long length. It does have the slits on the side just for easy walk and flow ability. This can easily be a swimsuit cover up beach cover up. Um, gosh, I'm just thinking of all the days going to the beach, going when those come back, um, going to like if you're on a vacation or whatever and you go to a restaurant, these are like really easy pieces just to throw on with a tee and a pair of shorts or jeans and you like instantly have a look. So while I wouldn't wear these two together, I did want to put this one on for you. So this um, is just flowy, easy fit. It's two sizes. If you're between sizes, um, you can probably sit down. I mean, there's not much fit to these things, but I do want to show you the details on here. I forgot to talk about those. So it's a vintage, it's a tea dye wash, vintage wash, or not wash, tea dye color. It's not white. It's definitely a vintage, it's tea dyed. So it, um, let me see if I can put it up against white. Um, it's really, really pretty. There you guys can see, here's like, ivory or white okay so um really pretty and then all of this this kind of just really romantic vintage floral you have pops of like cherry red and pinks and orchids and mint going all through here again you guys know us right you will have many things in your closet by grace and lace designed for us that look really good with this kimono okay um, if you call, oh, I can list a million. If you have the tiered mesh for last year's, what, did, what color do we call that? Last year's tiered mesh would look great. The new um, Henley, the new um, Snap Henley tank looks great. Any of our light, dusty mints work good. Um, you can do black under this. All of this is like outlined in black. So you can do black under it, you can do gray under it. You can be, if you like the more matchy, um, look, obviously you can put any of those pinks or reds or pops of fuchsia look under, go under this great. Okay. Really romantic, carefree, just like really sweet. It's very, very, very sweet, um, design. I feel like, I feel like my, um, if my grandmother was still alive, I feel like she, she would just oogle over this. She would think it's amazing. So, and then across the shoulders is a vintage um, knit lace to kind of go with it. So it's dyed the ground of the color. That is a knit lace all across the shoulders. And then it has this knit lace, which looks really similar to her boot socks for those of you seeing the boot socks that runs down, um, down the front. So we did the, um, the lace up at the top to help just create, um, sometimes kimonos and things like that, if they're too slinky or slippery, they can slide around on your shoulders. We did this knit lace up here to help just control that staying on your body. So sizes extra small to medium, which is what this one is. If you're, and then there's size um, large and extra large. If you're between a medium and large, you can size up or down depending on preference if you want. I mean, they're just, there's not a ton of fit, you guys. They're made just to be, really really flowy and just have that like you know drape um and then it's it is a textured i don't know have we used this material before amanda i don't think so i don't think we've used this material before it's just slightly textured it's a nice weight um it's not sheer okay any questions it's really it's really pretty um the raspberry perfect oh yes um celeste says the raspberry perfect fit dress Yes, that will look great under this. I'm telling you, I am telling you, when we work with Pantones and when the girls pick their colors, they're always keeping in mind of Grace and Lace things you may have in your closet that work very, very well um, 
together for you. So we try to make your dressing easier, okay? Not more complicated. All right, it's really, really pretty. Um, very, very pretty design, super proud of it. Probably one of the more complicated pieces um, we've done in a kimono just with all the, um, how the print works and all that stuff. Okay, all right, let's bring out, who's in this one? Is Katie in this one? Katie's full on changes. <laughs> okay, she's got the Henley, the, the Henley tank that just launched last week on, and she put that underneath, a pair of shorts, little sandals, flip-flops, and then you have, so, so for me, my summer outfit would be a tank and shorts and flip-flops, and then I'm like, crap, I need to go somewhere or meet somebody or go to a family picnic or something. Then you throw this on and then suddenly you have like a dressier outfit than just your tank and shorts, but you feel like you're just in your tank and shorts, okay? So that's how that works. Uh, the burnout tees from last year absolutely would look good in that. Katie's in the smallest size, the extra size, extra small through medium. And then is Ash, who else is in this one? Amanda. Okay, Amanda's in the larger size in this one. Candace, I am wearing the distressed um, waist shapers are the jeans that I'm wearing. I'm, I'm telling you guys will find a lot of stuff that will work with this. So Amanda just did gray basic underneath. So I tend to like this, like how she's doing it. She's allowing the kimono to be the star of the show. She's not like fighting it with the color underneath. She's allowing all that color just to pop. She went neutral underneath with gray or with white or with cream. You could even do the oatmeal would be a really close um, match to this ground color. Our oatmeal tea would be really good with that. So. Um, Jen, yes, the orchid tank looks great with it. Um, if you guys have like specific questions and need to see those, um, Morgan can hang those. Hop on over to our VIP page and Morgan can hang those. Okay. Um, do I get to spin again? Yes. All right, it's moving in. The wheel's moving in. Okay. First question is for Facebook. You guys ready for another question? Laurel, yes, I, um, the Distressed Waist Shapers, which is what these are, um, I wear, I like the six, I wear the six, they are, they are snug, but I like my jeans snug, I could have gone to the eight, a lot of people do size up in these, but I like my waist shapers to shape my waist <laughs> and my hips, so, Amanda is five, eight and a half, okay, who's ready for the next question, all right, thanks Megan, um, what is, ready? Facebook, ready? What is the name of the very first product that was sold, that we offered, that I made? The name of the very first product. Very first product. <laughs> Not what type, but what is the name? Do, do, do. Not the type. So some of you are saying Holly's boot clothes. cuffs. Some of you are saying we're missing part of it. Okay. You guys are close. What is the name? Kim Alpine boot socks were the, are the name of the sock. It was not my first one. Andrea Christine. Andrea Christine got it. Okay, Lacey Lou. The Lacey Lou leg warmers. The Lacey Lou. That was the very first leg warmer I made, and we sold thousands of thousands of the Lacey Lou. Does anyone have the Lacey Lou? I should hold up a Lacey Lou. Do we have a Lacey Lou here? Did someone throw me one? There's one in the. Well, oh, maybe we don't have it handed. Okay, who got it again? Andrea Christine. Andrea Christine, are you ready for your spin? The Lacey Lou. She got it. Andrea Christine, this spin is for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she got one item of her choice. Oh my word. I cannot believe that's on there. Actually, we'll DM her. Okay. Um, we will, you can share if you want to what you're gonna pick. Um, but we will, we will DM you on how to get the item of your choice. Okay. Karen says, yes, you bought Lacey Lou's on my Etsy page. Oh my gosh, that was a million years ago. <laughs> I'm going to remember. Um, oh, Ash is getting me a pair for old time's sake. I think we have one. We have one in the, um, 
We don't have a pair. We have a one. Well, throw me one. There's one in that because I was just looking up in it in the. A light suit blue. <laughs> They don't have to go for it. They don't have to dig for it. I know where it is, but I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to. Um, okay. I would love to show you the lead. Okay. That was a great spin. I cannot believe she got that product. I, what is her name again? Andrea Christine. On Andrea Christine. Okay. In, uh, Instagram. This next question is for you. Are you ready? Instagram. Okay. Um, what? Instagram. What is the first product I made that was not a sock or a leg warmer or a boot cuff that was not worn so it, what is the first product that I made Instagram that is not a leg warmer sock or boot cuff hey okay. Facebook you can guess too I will share the answer when someone gets it does anyone remember Heidi my best friends all in here aren't allowed to answer these questions Grace and Lee staff is not allowed to answer these questions. Kelly says, can we do the Janice wheel on Everlitch? Janice 1529. Janice 1529 got it. What did she answer? She answered the scarf. We, yes, it was a, I don't even remember the first, first name, but it was a triangle scarf. It was a spring scarf. It was striped. It had lace on it. It was a tri, it was the first one I did, a scarf that I did in the triangle. Um, it was striped. We did a couple of colors and it had lace trim. And that was the first item beyond, like my boot socks went crazy. People love the boot socks. And then came spring, I think we launched it in March. And I was like, crap, I don't, people aren't gonna buy boot socks anymore. They're not gonna wear socks, what do I make? And I was like, I want a lightweight scarf. So it was real lightweight, really, does anyone have it? Well, that would be another, I'm like, if people could get up and like somehow show us that they have it, they should win something else again. So it was a triangle, it was a spring scarf, it was, tri it was in a triangle shape, it was striped. So there was like a purple and black, white and black, gray and black, um, in a triangle sl 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 a shape, and it had lace trim on it. So, okay, you get to spin. Wait, who's the winner again? Janice1529. Janice1529, this is your spin. Again, I can't take my trigons off. <laughs> no way! Oh my gosh, I've just been like two trigons. Okay, she gets a fifty-dollar gift card. Oh my gosh, I don't know who approved these <laughs> amounts. They were not approved by me, but. Lucky you, lucky you. It's okay, I like giving stuff away. You get a $50 gift card. She's on Instagram. Okay, so um, look for a DM for us. You will have a DM how you will get that gift card. All right, last thing that launched today is the Clara Wrap dress. Let's talk about this. And then we're done for the day, you guys. Okay, so um, last year we did a um, striped wrap dress. If anyone remembers, that was the first wrap dress we did, and it had a big, lots of big, chunky, bright stripes on it. Okay, people loved the wrap dress, but you guys, our VIPs, asked for, you know, some people not like stripes, florals, all that stuff's personal. So, some people didn't like the dramatic stripe. So we brought that dress, similar, very similar. I'm going to talk about the differences in a second. Back in um, that same wrap dress, longer length. But now in this really pretty kind of tealy green, let me see if I got to dark outside. Let's see if we can brighten this up a little bit. This really, really pretty green teal brown floral dress. Now, leave it up to us to give you a couple of ways to wear. I'm about to show you that, <laughs> okay? Um, sorry, you guys, if you see creepers on here, report them. Our staff is also on here blocking them, but if you see them, yes, get the creepers off, okay? Now, um, you guys saw this on me. I wore this dress on my cruise, my birthday cruise back in February. Um, this dress was actually supposed to launch two weeks after my cruise. It was supposed to be here end of February, okay? So you guys saw it then, it had a longer sleeve um, because it was, it was a transitional weather dress. Well then, coronavirus happened, 
factories all shut down. This factory had to be shut down for a long time. And we were like, no, the dress was supposed to like, it was on its way, like going to be on its way here. Um, and then they shut down for a long time. So when they got back to business, we were like, now we're not gonna have it until May. We can't have a long sleeve anymore. So we scrambled and we um, changed the sleeve design to be a short sleeve just so now with it launching in May, now you have longer wearability with this into the warmer you know summer months and uh, you know what's awesome is that normally i wouldn't have designed a darker floral like this for this time of year usually we get into a lot more brights but what's great is that this will transition into early fall as well so um i just loved these colors we did the pops in here we did corals and red you guys know us with all of our florals are custom done this was amanda amanda did this one um, really, really pretty large scale floral pops of pink and then blue and there's some black and white in here. Okay. So it is a wrap dress. Um, and it is like a T length. I'm going to put this over this, um, which is not going to be totally right, but I just want to show it. <laughs> um, and then we did make, you'll see the girls in it in a second. We made it pretty conservative. Now, normally I wouldn't do this, okay? Normally I'm not gonna be wrapping up a tiger tee or having a long casual crew neck tee under this, but I just wanna show it on, okay? So we made it pretty conservative. So when you wrap this, it's not a very low like plunging. We, we gave plenty of material here in the bust to wrap over. If you are, are narrow or small chested, you probably want to consider sizing down in this dress just because, really because of that reason. We wanted to make this wearable for, and you know, conservative at the best for people who, um, you know, just so you don't feel like you are like really exposing everything right there, okay? So size small. Now, here's what we did. Now, it is a true wrap dress. So with that also comes the ability to kind of have some custom fit, okay? You control how tight you tie this. There's these two little threads which you tie your first layer, okay? You control, this kind of is where the control of the fit comes. If you, if you want this looser to kind of sit down a little bit lower, if you want this panel to come across tighter, you, you're controlling that by where you tie this first one, okay? And then the second one, you wrap, comes around your back, and then back around your front. And then again, you are, you just kind of tie this where, where you want this and with how tight so you can loosen that up. So wrap dresses, yes, they have a fit, but they are fairly customizable, okay? So now, the other thing we did is I, and I don't know if you guys saw me on my cruise, I actually wore it both ways. For my birthday dinner, I wore it wrapped up like nice as a dress out for dinner. And then we went to like karaoke that night after my birthday um, on the cruise. And I just felt like I wanted something, I didn't wanna be all wrapped up in a dress, so I changed into like my tiered mesh and a pair of cropped jeggings, and I wore it open as a duster. Now I'm gonna show you what to do to wear it open as a duster, okay? This is what we did. This little, hold on. This little piece like here, obviously you can leave it down, but it might look, you know, look a little bit weird, okay? So there is a loop inside of here, right here, there's a little thread loop. You just kind of can tie this around in here to hide it, okay? So then you don't have, then it goes away, okay? So if you're gonna wear it um, as a duster, it goes away. Now, you're gonna say, but what about these big, long, trailing um, wraps, okay? All that I do to wear it as a duster is I just do a real loose, giant, big bow, okay? Then it just sits at your side like this, you see that? I just tied them in a big bow together just so it sits at your side. Then you have like this duster, really pretty. You guys, when I wear this, um, Jet, my son is like, mom, that's like your Superman cape because it like flows with you, okay? When you walk away, it um, it's really, it's really, really pretty walking away. So I, I cannot decide you guys which way I like to wear it better, honestly. Um, I just think, Ignore the tiger. If I had a tank on, it'd be a lot better. Okay, um, ignore the tiger. But if if you you can um, wear it more for dressed not formal, but dressed up like I don't know you guys when we get back out in the world this summer, so like baby showers, church events, church. Um, 
gosh, I would hope like Mother's Day, I don't know, um, as a dress, or like I said, it can just be flowy and loose as the duster. So you guys know us. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. This is, it's not the same fit. It's not the same fit as the striped wrap dress. It's similar in the way that it crosses and wraps and has that, but it's not It's not the same fit. It's longer. It's, um, it is a, what do we call this, T-length? T-length dress. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, my jeans, no, it's T-length, so it's longer than the stripe. Um, someone said, Melissa, Jamie says, I'm very close to your size um, between a, a small shape. I can, you guys, I can even wear the extra small in this. The extra small is not, um, not, I like the extra small because if I'm going to wear it open more, um, it's just like a little bit less big for wearing it open, but I can wear the extra small as well. It just doesn't wrap as much. So I would say if you're my size, don't go with a medium, go with a small or the extra small. Okay. Love it as a duster. It's, uh, yeah, it's T length, longer than the knee, below the knee. I don't know if you can see me. And this looks really weird with tiger tee and a pair of jeans on. But there's my knee and it is a couple inches below my knee. Has that ruffle on the bottom. Here, I can take it off and show you. This is the size small. How does it compare to the tie dye? Okay, the tie dye, great question, Erica. The tie dye, first of all, is a knit. Okay, so that's totally different. This is a woven. This has no stretch. Okay, the knit is, um, the knit was very different. The tie dye did not have much room in the bust panels at all. So that one on any one busty, really you had to wear a tank like it was like plunging, <laughs> plunging. Okay, so we wanted to make this one much more conservative and wearable without needing a tank underneath it. Okay, so it is different. It's very different. Um, length, I think the tie dye two was a full length. Um, this is a. Am I right? Yes. This is a T length. This is not, not a not a full length, okay? So if you if you are busty, if you aren't busty, if you are not busty, you can probably size down in this dress, okay? Because if, if you don't have something to fill this up, um, or you know, like or stay, stay in your normal size, but if you know like I'm narrow, I sometimes size down, then I would probably size down in this one, okay? Are you going to try, do a try and stories? Yes, I will do a try and stories for you guys in this one. Okay, let's bring some people out. Who's in this one? Katie's an extra small. Is Katie here? Yes. Katie's an extra small? Okay. Katie. So tall right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's got, yeah, so looks so great with heels. So here's what, those of you are like, what does this look like? Is this too long? Katie's five, one and a half. She wants to be five, two. Try. But see how really pretty that's nice and conserved. Now, she could wrap that farther if she wanted to wrap it up tighter. That's just where she likes to wear it where she chose to wear it so but nice just uh, this is extra small on her okay um i i would donna i wouldn't say it's not for short people katie's short and i think yeah. it looks fabulous on her just throw a heel with it or a wedge with it get some lift up underneath those um uh, underneath your like a wedge underneath your heel and i think it looks great on people of all heights okay um grace and lace could we do a live of teaching us the different kinds of material use lucy great suggestion i will um we will add that to the docket. Okay, okay. or talk about it. So extra small on her. So uh, who's next? Oh, sorry. Who's next? Um, looks gorgeous on Katie. I agree as well. You've got lots of hearts and thumbs up. Okay, Katie, um, Ash, I have to help Ash. No, you don't. Hold on. <laughs> Let me help Ash. At least I taught you guys how to do it. Clearly she was not paying attention. Okay. Well, okay, you, can, you can you can you can do that roots. you can do what she did as well okay so she did this right she tucked this little guy behind on the thread loop okay. missy did i mean you can do it that way too she brought one of the strands around and then like tied it to this you can do that i guess okay there, you guys can pick your own way of doing this what i did is take this both loops and i tied them what i'm not full of stuff stop no i'm just showing them trying to be guys, stop it Stop it. They, then you just tie a giant bow on the side. But actually, you know what? I, I just felt like it was like a little snugger around here. Like I didn't well, want to do it feel... tight. Just drop that really loose. See, you're just letting that fall. You're getting rid of that. You're just, just think of like I'm getting rid of the ties. 
You're getting rid of the ties by just letting them fall down. This is a small. Okay. This is a small on Ash. Now, stop. Don't go away because they're going to say, we want to know if Ash can, <laughs> Ash can wrap it up. You're a beauty, Ash. I agree. Beautiful, Ashley. Okay. <laughs> Um, no, it's a, it's rayon. It doesn't wrinkle. I mean, it's, if you wad it up, it's going to wrinkle. But um, if you keep it hanging, all these have been hanging. I just threw this one over the rack. Okay, so you're going to want to see Ash um, wrapped up. Okay. Mom, <laughs> now I need your help. Mom. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so hold on. Wait. <laughs> Both are on back. We all have strengths <laughs> and we all have weaknesses. Both are on back. Bring them around to the front. No time where you want. I don't know. <laughs> Not up here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't Tie it over on the side where you want it. Okay. So. That's what I would do. Okay. That's how she would do it. Get off stage, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> They're telling me to get off stage. It's my turn. What do they throw? What are you supposed to throw when you're so. What do they throw? <laughs> You throw bananas or something? <laughs> what's the what's the thing we're supposed to throw at people to get them off stage? Pies? Tomatoes? Tomatoes? I don't know. I made them with my Nerf gun. That <laughs> is the rudest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> Tomatoes. Okay. Okay. So look at this. Okay. See, really, really, even if you're Steal. At least people think we're funny. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> worse and worse. I just want to stop okay. talking. Okay, stop. Okay, Amanda, stop. Hold on. Let's talk about this. Amanda in. I'm like crying. I'm in so the like, extra large. She's in the extra large. I always large, wear okay. extra large. She always <laughs> wears extra large. Okay. Now, normally in our wrap dresses, she, she would be very plunging. Okay. So we, we added some, I mean, there is some volume there that allows you to wrap around and not have that gaping plunging like in the um, tie-dye one from last year, she had to wear a tank under, okay? Okay, tomato smells. Okay, I get it. I don't have tomatoes to throw. <laughs> but you guys are the ones taking her off stage. I liked her on stage, okay? Very, very flattering. It accommodates bust well, so. Do I get to do another spin? They're like, bring the wheel out. <laughs> I know it's not bananas. I don't know what it, Heidi. Oh my gosh, Heidi's my best friend. I can talk to her about. I can talk to her this way. Okay, we're just gonna bring the wheel out and get me from stopping to talk and get me from stopping to put stuff on people. Okay, or tell them how to wear things. Okay, agree. You guys, don't be afraid if you have bust. Stay in a normal size. If you're between sizes, if you're between sizes or know that you're more narrow or not as busty, definitely you could size, you can size down in this dress, okay? Amanda is on fire. Yes, she's got, you've got all the fire signs, Amanda. Okay, Facebook, <laughs> let me stop talking. Facebook, uh, you get a spin. Who's gonna win? First question. I need the music cued, okay? Okay. Facebook, this question is for you. Do you have your typing fingers ready? Instagram, your last question will be next. This is the, is this the last question for the day? Right? Uh, it can be, yes. Or is there another one? Okay. Last question for the day. Ready? Ready? Okay. What year did we, Grace and Lace, open our first orphanage in India? What year? Dun, 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 dun. What year did we open our first orphanage in India? What year did we open our first orphanage in India? Sarah Schneider Shoemaker. Sarah Schneider Schneider Shoemaker. Got it. Sarah Schneider Sarah Schneider Shoemaker. Got it. 2014, the summer of 2014, we opened our first orphanages in India. Congrats, Sarah, you got it. This is your spin. Heidi's still talking about bananas. Okay, $10 off, Sarah Shoemaker, $10 off your next purchase. We will check your DMs. We will be DMing you how to get $10 off your next purchase. Okay, Instagram, last question. We're Instagram. Instagram, are you there? Oh, I only have one minute remaining with Instagram before it's going to kick me off. Let's go quick. 
What month and year did we release our workwear line? Instagram. What month and year did we release our workwear line? Instagram, question for Instagram. Only 52 seconds, someone's gotta get it. Instagram, you'll have to log back on. Uh, it's gonna kick, Instagram's gonna kick me out and that means I've been on for an hour. Lisa Marie 58. Lisa Marie 58, this spin is for you. And we'll, um, Lisa Marie 58 will, um, will DM you because I think the video just went off. <laughs> she got a $25 gift card off of a $25 gift card. It's coming to you. All right, you guys, that's it. Make sure you, for today, I hope you liked our little uh, happy distraction time. Let us know if you like the wheel, if the wheel is too much of a distraction and you just want me to talk about clothing. Uh, we just thought since we have some mini launches, we thought it was just a fun way to, I don't know, break up and make quarantine a little bit more fun. So uh, there is a promo on live on the site right now. It is our spring refresh sale and it runs until the third, through the third. Um, and there's eight different offers going on in that sale. So, uh, oh, the answer to the workwear line, sorry guys, was August, 2019, last August was when we launched our first workwear line or, or the start of our workwear line, okay? Um, there's eight different offers going on in our spring refresh sale. So make sure to tap, tap on that um, tap on that tab online because uh, there's eight different deals going on on the spring refresh um, tab. Oh, update on the sunshine tea. That is, uh, sorry, I'm gonna answer questions. Okay, they love the wheel. Sorry guys, I know you got knocked off. I do, I talk too much, it's been too long. It's fun for the short lunches. Um, the sunshine tea is on the way to us. It's floating on the ocean. So um, it is expected to be here within the next, I wanna say week or two. It should be here pretty soon, okay? Um, I know Tiger Tea, hop on over to our VIP page it, or make sure you sign up on the restock notify for that Tiger Tea. If you're wanting it, that will tell me how many, I feel like if I can, if I can remake them, how many I can remake. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, all right, you guys, that is it for today. Have a great Friday, happy weekend. Hopefully this was entertaining. We will see you probably next week. Um, if next week, it's late next week. Okay, summer loggers, oh, they want me to answer the questions. Summer loggers are coming uh, late May, late May. Um, is that the cactus? I don't know what hands those. Okay, all right, you guys, we gotta go. We have so much to do today. Uh, we'll see you next time, bye-bye.